While we believe that entry-level laptops deserve as much attention as their more expensive siblings, we'll try to keep this review of the Lenovo IdeaPad one short and simple. Design-wise, it's very similar to the Lenovo V15 and IdeaPad 3 laptops, utilizing the same plastic chassis. It doesn't result in the best durability, as both the lid and the base are flexy. The material itself is prone to collect smudges, so keep a microfiber cloth with you, or just use your sleeve if you're nasty like that. On the other hand, the laptop is light, weighing only 1.58 kilograms and having a profile of 17.9 millimeters, so the portability is here. Another bonus is the thin bezel around the lid, which still managed to fit an HD webcam and a manual privacy shutter. We're surprised to see a fingerprint reader at this price point, even if it's optional. The keyboard is clicky, despite the travel being a bit short. The touchpad is covered in mylar, so it's smooth. Unfortunately, we have to mention the bends around the keyboard, especially if you're typing harshly. On the sides, the input-output is split between the left and right. On the left, you've got a power plug, a single USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port, an HDMI 1.4B port, one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1 port, and an audio jack. Switch to the right, there's a USB 2.0 port and an SD card reader. Since this is a budget machine, it comes with a full HD TN panel. Keep in mind that there are IPS versions available as well, and you should probably choose one of them. The TN panel has poor viewing angles and a low contrast ratio, so dark images appear washed out. The brightness is low too, at 231 nits. If you want to make things better, get our display profiles from the link in the description. On the other hand, the sound setup is better, despite the speakers being on the bottom with no significant deviations across the entire frequency range. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Since the laptop is AMD powered, you get to pick two Athlon CPUs, a Ryzen 3 and a Ryzen 5. We tested the Ryzen 3 model and it does decently well, offering good performance for web browsing, playing videos, and other light tasks. The Radeon 610M iGPU is pretty good as well, as it can handle eSports titles with ease, as well as other games, including GTA 5, which is still very popular. Here you can see how it runs at normal settings. For more benchmark videos of the Radeon 610M or any GPU for that matter, check out the Laptop Media Benchmarks channel. With the Ryzen 3, you don't need the craziest cooling setup, so one heat pipe and one fan are enough. It still keeps all four cores running at around 3.5 GHz, even after 15 minutes of testing. It's nice to see that the chip runs very cool as well. Comfort is great as well, with a low amount of noise and a base temperature of only 36.1 degrees Celsius. Something pretty weird about the laptop, it has the same battery results in both the web browsing and the video playback benchmark, lasting for 9 hours and 10 minutes of either web browsing or video playback. Really thorough power management from Lenovo. Despite the standard 15.6-inch form factor, which usually leaves room for SODIMM slots on the inside, here we have up to 16 gigabytes of soldered LPDDR5 memory. Storage-wise, there's one M2 slot, which supports Generation 4 drives, but sadly runs them at Generation 3 speeds. In any case, we'll leave our teardown video linked below. The Lenovo IdeaPad 1 is one of the cheapest Lenovo laptops out there, and while the durability and the TN display leave a lot to be desired, the performance that it offers is good while bringing a fingerprint reader and an SD card reader, 
which is rare to see even a laptop of this price. For more information about the Lenovo IdeaPad 1, check out our detailed review on LaptopMedia.com.